So once again for the Real People Multigame Solitary Mary Tour, and I just thought before we go into play I should talk a little bit about how this the, the experience is playing solitaire, how different it is than playing um, with humans. That's true for every game I've played, I think, but this one is especially different. So if you're looking at this, this video for um, an indication of what it feels like to play with other humans, I'm not doing a very good job of that. It's, it's kind of hard to um, kind of I don't know if I'm using the right word here, but bifurcate or branch out, maybe not brachiate, but branch out the um, the creativity and the decision making process into these other people and then have them actually like, <laughs> then back into um, a play, you know, all through my hands. So a lot of times I'm, I'm kind of alighting and glossing over a lot of the um, trait giving and things like that because it's just kind of like okay, what would I think these people would come up with, um, and just kind of playing it out that way. In actual play with humans, there's a lot of, you know, giving traits and a lot more reality checks and, and things like that, um, that are just not, it, it would just kind of almost be a hassle to play out. I've tried to do it enough, but I'm not doing it as much as would happen in actual play, I guess is kind of the main thing. And... Yeah, and always it's kind of hard to to uh, avoid um, choice bleed, I guess. Like, it, it can kind of segment your brain, especially with, for me with the real people cards, to make the choices separately for the people who, without the information. But part of that is just kind of um, cognitive trickery. You know, be like, okay, I sometimes have to say to myself, what would I do if I were this person? And I didn't know this, this, and this, right? I didn't know there was a monster behind this door, essentially. Um, so this game is particularly tricky with that, but it has actually I, has been easier to do than I thought. Um, kind of have to take a few more breaks to kind of mull things over a little more than I would otherwise with a game. But um, it actually is pretty, pretty enjoyable um, means of storytelling, just even solitaire. So there's that. Let's move on. It's, it's going to be Smiley's turn like it always starts out to be. Um, Snugbug, he's got that head. Could he be close to meeting his goal? Because you have to have the head and then you have to do something with the head. Um, he kind of went right for the head first. I don't know if he did any sort of preparations for his goal. Um, but we'll see what happens. Let's go. Things are really starting to churn and get exciting and you can feel that excitement, you can feel that fire, that heat as things are starting to come together. Uh, we see that we've got a couple more people here in downtown. Kaz and Kat and Junior both have arrived there on their turns. Uh, Smiley had a turn before that. She got it. She secured herself an opening gig for a popular thinker. Um, popular thinker, you're not supposed to give things proper names, give people proper names in this. So you um, just kind of it, you just kind of describe things, um, maybe generalize things. It gives it kind of a abstract character to the story. Uh, but that's what's going on right now. Now it's Flush's turn. If you recall, Flush is, um, he's in the curio shop facing off with Little Red. Little Red trying to set the whole place on fire. He can surmise. He doused it with gasoline and then try to um, drop a flaming lighter on there. Flush has got his gun drawn. Um, and I think he's going to go ahead and try to shoot little red once again. So we'll, I'll, I'll roll up that conflict and let you know what happens. All right, so uh, Flesh has got a slight advantage. The, the vote ended up being four to three. There's some argument about um, whether or not the gasoline would have made the gun stop working. Um, people countered that that was, might happen with older guns, but this newer model of gun whatever, it would work better, but then, which that argument was countered again, that, um, you know, this gun's in the black market, maybe it's not a very good gun, but, uh, so he has an advantage, so, let's say one through four goes to flush, fives and sixes, little red takes. These dice have tended towards fives and sixes, um, we've seen a lot of kind of unusual outcomes as a result, so, um, and... Uh, Little Red just got killed. So when when this kind of thing happens, when uh, when you shoot someone, you don't say you shoot someone. 
you say you kill someone with a gun, you shoot someone and they die, you, you, you dictate the outcome. And so uh, Flush gets to dictate the outcome since he got more dice than Little Red. Little Red, however, is going to go ahead and reveal that he's a tortured soul, so he can go ahead and inhabit someone else. Actually, no, he's not going to reveal this yet. He's going to wait until after Snugbug's turn um, to reveal that he's the tortured soul. Tortured soul, if you were wondering, I guess since I already kind of blew the secret, um, they can't really die. They just jump to a new body. So he's got a plan on what to do with that, which is kind of one of the reasons he was being a little, um, a little, uh, dangerous in his behavior. Cause you know, you can't die. So why not? These people, these bodies that you would have it are just puppets and they're expendable puppets. We got some new traits for downtown. I forgot to mention, um, which kind of put everything in a different light that was just happening. So the police are now outside the curio shop. Um, they're also at the clothing store that, if you recall, Flush robbed that mannequin from, but a much, in a much smaller force. There seems to be a, a lot more. There's gunshots coming from the curio shop. Uh, the, the reason police got there so quickly, well, it hasn't been super quick, uh, but within 10 minutes or so, is because this is all taking place downtown, and there, you know, there's a big police presence downtown. So um, there's also a manhunt for Flush. They got the they got the description of what Flush looked like. Um, not much of a manhunt because he's just considered to be a thief right now. He stole a mannequin, but um, they do have a description of him. And you know, if you saw Flush walking down the street, you might recognize him. He's got a he's got a, a strong look about him. Um, yep. So now we're at Snugbug. He's in the back of the curio shop. He's got the head, if you recall, and the head gives him that special power, um, which he might use right now. Because if he uses this this power, it's not going to make it so that um, it's not going to make it so that uh, our our executioner out there, whoever it is, it's the animal, um, can kill him automatically because it's not his power. So um, he's in the back of the curio shop. He's, he knows Flush is out f uh, in, the, in the room out front. Um, he's going to propose that there's a secret, you know, there's an exit from here, a secret exit because of security and whatnot. But we'll see what people think about that. Um, the police are out front. Uh, yeah, he's, he's already killed someone. So we'll see what happens. Folks were unanimous that there wasn't a secret exit out of the building uh, in this this back room that Snug Bugs in with the pipe smoking uh, proprietor, but Snug Bug did make a counter proposal after that that um, there were there was a, a doorway to the the man's apartments which are above the shop. Um, more people voted against that than probably would if the circumstances were different. There's, you know, there's sometimes gamey considerations when people decide what is and isn't possible. And that's kind of part of the game, right? You're supposed to kind of set up these, these things ahead of time, these traits, like the fact that there's stairs going up. Um, the stairs are behind a locked door, however, so Snugbug had to use his turn convincing the man uh, to unlock the way up, up the stairs. Uh, to his apartments above the curio shop. Let's go to Little Red. Now here's another case where the there's a there's kind of a, a game aspect that um, maybe goes against the storytelling in a way. And how that is is um, Little Red. You can only be the secret keeper, or you can only do secret stuff in places where you're not the secret keeper, which makes sense because if you did secret stuff in a place where you were the secret keeper. There'd be no one to check up on what you're doing. Uh, Little Red normally would love to be able to use his um, tortured soul power secretly here and secretly possess the pipe smoking proprietor. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do that. He has to reveal that that's who he is. So the situation now is up, up, in, the, up in the apartments behind a locked door are the pipe smoking proprietor now inhabited by Little Red as well as snug bug so there's going to be an interesting situation there but if you know little red would have been in a much better situation had he been able to be the pipe smoking proprietor and only one other person knew that wasn't snug bug he could have snuck up on him that way but now snug bug for some reason just knows that the tortured soul little red has possessed this pipe smoking proprietor the animal and stubby who had been delaying just spent their their action to go downtown so that means we have every single player 
in our game here of power play downtown. The police are downtown. Weasel is downtown and Weasel would like to get a gun. Some folks are saying, well, maybe you can't get a gun now because there's so much heat um, downtown. I don't know if I mentioned the, the whole heat aspect. Um, there's actually a, an optional rule I'm not using involving heat that you can use to kind of keep people from going too crazy with what they're doing. Uh, what it means is if the, if you know, if you're doing illegal things out in the open, um, police presence will build up. It reminds me of um, Grand Theft Auto, if you've ever played any of those games. Um, if it gets high enough in that game, like helicopters come attack you or whatever. And here, if it gets high enough, you just die. Uh, I'm not using that because I don't want to just automatically have people die, but it's a nice little gamey check that you can use. Um, but there is heat in the area. The police have arrived. Um, there's a there's a little bit of a hullabaloo. It's not as big as I I'm, it kind of looks. You know, you see all these people here, but they haven't done that much yet. There's just been some gunshots. So there's there's some you know that's kind of a big deal. Um, gunshots in a building. The police are outside. Um, there was a a minor robbery of a store of a mannequin, more of kind of a shoplifting. And now Weasel's trying to get a gun. Um, some people say yes. More people say no because of all the police presence, so we're going to roll the dice and let um, fate, I suppose, decide. And no, <laughs> you really don't get a gun, Weasel. Um, you have to decide on something else to do. He wants to have a weapon, though, because there's lots of players around, and things things could explode. All right, so let's let's just go over where everyone is before I talk about what Weasel ends up, well, what the next thing he's gonna try to do is. So, Little Red and Snugbug, as you know, are in the second floor of the curio shop. Okay, Little Red's in the proprietor's body, Snugbug's in his own body, which he will be in his own body for the rest of the game. Flush, he's in the downstairs um, with some gasoline on him, and he just shot Little Red's former body and killed him with gun bullets. Um, everybody else, nope, not Smiley. Smiley is in the coffee shop across the street. Um, everybody else, so Ka, Junior, Weasel, Stubby, and Danimal are outside the um, curio shop where the police are now rushing in. Weasel proposed that. People thought that made sense. There was a little bit of dissent, but it was the majority said, yes, the police are rushing in after that those last, gush, last gunshots. So Flush is going to have to deal with that on his turn. Um, now Weasel, for his part... He figures in the confusion, he'd really like to get a gun. So in the confusion, he's going to try and grab a gun from one of the police outside. Now, he made a decent case that he could do that. Junior is going to say, I see him doing that, and I'm calling him out, uh, pointing out to the police. So they are going to have a um, uh, one of those, those conflicts. Um, I think it's going to be in favor of Junior, so he will take the... Three, four, five, and six, I think. Let me double check the table, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, so Junior gets three, four, five, and six. Weasel gets ones and twos. He rolled a couple ones earlier. Let's see if he can keep on that streak. He's trying to grab the cop's gun. Junior says, hey, cop, he's reaching for your gun. Is the cop going to be paying attention to the other cops charging in? Or is he going to notice that someone's trying to take his gun? Guess he has a couple guns. Maybe he has a rifle out pointing at the entranceway. All right, we've got one, two in favor of Weasel, rest in favor of Junior. Junior gets to say what he thinks happens. Uh, the cop notices in time, pulls the gun out, aims at Weasel, says, on the floor, or I'm going to shoot you with my gun bullets. And people say, yeah, that's probably what the cop says. And so Weasel's got to deal with that now on his next turn. So we've got cops coming at Flush, cops coming at Weasel. We got Little Red coming at Snugbug. Maybe your Snugbug coming at Little Red. Snugbug gets to move first. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, we got Smiley with her her gig coming up um, later on tonight. Next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, we got Stubby and Danimal standing outside. We got Junior. Maybe he'll get a medal for what he did. That it was really helpful of him. Kaz and Cat, she watched him do it. Is, does she like that Junior 
helped out or did she wish that Weasel had a gun? We'll find out next time, maybe, on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Power play. It's sports.